Hi everybody, it's Stu, AG6AG, and I just wanted to share with you using uh, WSJT to make some FT8 contacts. So, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Um, I struggled as to whether to edit out the middle of this whole thing that I'm going to uh, tack into this video. The reason being is I had some trouble getting a second QSO, and uh, it might be a little boring, okay? But I decided to leave it in because I thought, well, editing it probably would just make you think that it's really easy to do this. And it's not necessarily easy. You don't get every QSO. So this is real world. Uh, I hope you appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy it. All right, so we're starting off. I've got WSJT all set up. Uh, the right side is going to be decoded messages. The left side is going to be what I'm transmitting and what's being received on the frequency that I'm sitting on. So I'm waiting for a decode. Well, will you look at that? All right, that's a little high. Uh, so let's let's keep looking. Uh, I might be able to reach this guy. Maybe not. Let's see if there's any low-hanging fruit. I'm looking for a low negative number here. Ooh, how about this guy? Let's see if I can get KE7E. Now, all I did was double-click on this over here on the left side, and it automatically turned on my transmit and changed my frequency over to where he is. So let's see. Let's see if he replies to us. That's the thing about this protocol. It's it's masses of uh, uh, of anticipation, and yes, yes, he he can read me, and I'm sending him a plus nine. He's sending me a plus eleven, right? So anything that's red is being sent to me, okay? Sent to my call sign. Anything that's yellow, I'm sending, and anything that's green is a CQ. Waiting to see. All right, look at that. That was a fast and easy cue, so it's asking me to log. I'm sending him a 73. We are done with him. I'm going to go ahead and say OK and log it. And look over here. Let's see, anything exciting? Let's see if anything exciting is going on over on this side of the screen. Maybe I can grab another quick one. Let's see. I'm going to try this uh, VA3 call. And this is really kind of anticipation, right? Will he hear me? Yeah, he didn't hear me that time. Doesn't mean that he uh, can't, though. We just keep hitting him. And that's the thing about this protocol, too, is you might have to try three or four different times uh, before you actually get him. And although it may seem like I'm just clicking buttons, which I am, um, the cool part of this, the real cool part, is it's addictive. You know, if uh, if it, it's like, all right, you know, let's try to get a QSO here. All right, let's try to get a QSO here. Um, and it's fun. It really is. So we got our fingers crossed here. Let's see if he comes back. I didn't hear him. He may have drifted off. We may be starting to lose 20 meters. It, uh, uh, it is uh, about uh, 10 to 6 p.m. out here. So 20 starts kind of going away for us for uh, uh, any kind of distance, usually around that time, usually around 6 or 7 o'clock with the conditions the way they are. Uh, I think I lost him. 
so this is a real good example here of not getting the QSO. But sometimes patience pays off. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see if he comes back to me one more time. If he doesn't come back to me this time, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Halt TX and I'll go find another victim. Okay. So I'll go ahead and break out of that. We'll see if there's anybody else out there. And again, I'm just looking for the greens. And you know what? I can click CQ only. And all I will get are whatever stations are calling CQ. Now, I've already talked to my friend KE7E, so we're not going to try him again. Let's do... Let's do WB0CDY. Let's see if he comes back, huh? Oh, missed him. with this guy we'll just pop in there come in a little late we'll see what happens may not have gotten the whole signal out With the CQ only, it makes it a lot easier for me to see availability to see who's out there actually calling. Come on. No. Give it one more shot. He's getting a little stronger. I can tell because I'm looking at uh, the DB, and he went from minus 16 to minus 9. That's pretty good. That's a DB increase of 7 DB. And he jumped back up to 16. So he may not hear me. Gonna be his last chance. I'm looking at the waterfall on the receive, and I, I don't see him at all here. Also, it doesn't look like anybody else is being overpowering here, so let's go ahead and halt the transmission. Let's try this guy, VE3PP. He looks fairly strong as well. Hunt and Pounce is an interesting assumption to make out here. It, uh, uh, it usually works pretty well. Uh, this guy's nice and strong in the waterfall. Hopefully he can hear me. There we go. All right. So it shows me that this guy is about 2,100 miles from me right here on, uh, underneath his uh, uh, DX grid. So, all right. So he sent me a signal report. I sent him an R and a signal report, which implies R. I received his signal report. And the R stands for Roger. All right. And then he sent back 
RR and 73. He's saying goodbye. So I'm sending a 73 and I'm logging that one. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed that. That was kind of fun. Um, if you have any questions or anything else, let us know. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed doing it. Um, a lot of dead air time in the middle, huh? Just like operating on phone, just like operating on CW, some days are diamonds and some days are stones. Today was a diamond, though. I got a couple of QSOs. So I'm very happy with the results. And just remember, if that person isn't there, if the person's not responding back, hey, it's the conditions. It's always the conditions. All right? 73. And thanks for joining me. This is Stu, AG6AG. Have a great day.